Welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, I'm going to read you this headline, and I want you to know, or not, I don't want you to know anything. I want you to tell me what you think. Woman, 32, who stabbed her date 100 times to death in weed-induced frenzy, is sentenced to 100 hours of community service. As judge says, she had no control over her actions after cannabis caused a psychotic break. Oh, okay. Um, well, I guess my my first wow killed him a hundred times, huh? Ain't nobody S to D over no marijuana. <laughs> no, that was very true. That's a uh, that's a Bob Saget joke, I believe. Yeah, from Half Baked. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. Very, um, wow. So she stabbed him a hundred times. Yeah, I didn't read the story. I just saw the headline. Because she smoked too much weed. Because you know, I've okay. seen people smoke a lot of weed before, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they just get unruly and run around and do crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a giant upper. Wow. So she, uh, so initially I think, Jonas, is that I've, you know, I've never smoked marijuana. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I mean, I've I'm seen not... someone smoke something, they told me it was marijuana, but I don't even know what it looks like. But I'm pretty sure I don't do that. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do that. Yeah, I've heard. I've I'm heard it makes you hungry sure. and tired. Now it's funny that you should bring the story up because I actually did read the article because I, I had to know how she got off. Because, oh, did you read that article? Yeah, I did. Look at that. Because she she got off on the charges, right? Well, she got 100 hours community service. Yeah, I mean, you stabbed the man. You ever had? You ever done community service? <laughs> it's a hard shit. I mean, goddamn, she's working in a food kitchen. So. On the weekend? Uh, uh, apparently, she actually did have what they called a psychotic break. Apparently, she was trying to cut herself and okay. stuff. And she was, like, going crazy. And it took, like, a bunch of officers to, like, kind of, like, control her. But it's like, was she having a psychotic break because she had just stabbed her, the boyfriend a hundred times? Or was she having a psychotic break because of the reefer? I would say that... She was probably having a non-related psychotic break, and she just happened to be mm. high. And the reefer just intensified it. Oh, yeah. Made it. But if the reefer intensified it, was it reefer madness? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> was it really the reefer madness, so that Jonas? Movie from the 30s was true. I mean, it could have been. It could have been. You never know, Jonas. How do you feel about the reefers? Um, I think that it is a uh, gateway drug. If it you is. do it, you're going to end up doing crack. It is a gateway drug. You're like, this marijuana isn't enough for me. Let me smoke crack and do black tar heroin. <laughs> I mean... At the same time. All right, Jonas, look, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some pushback. Because this is a podcast. We got to talk. We got to have some discourse anyway. So let's let's give you some pushback. Um, I feel like if you start smoking the reefer, that you're eventually going to meet somebody who deals reefer. Am I right? Um, a reefer dealer. Are you going to encounter a reefer dealer? A plug, as you might call it nowadays. Oh my god, is that what a plug is? I'm, Are you teaching me new things today? I'm not trying to teach. No, you I'm anything. joking. Um, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. If okay, you, if so, you if you do drugs, you're going to meet a drug dealer. Okay, so if you start doing drugs, you're going to meet a plug. Um, if a plug is a smart businessman, he's going to diversify. Right? He's going to try to get you on coke? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying is that he's going to be like, look, I can get you some better, higher grade stuff if you need it. I don't know a plug that does not know a guy who sells something else. And if you start hanging out with a bunch of reefer smokers, there's a good chance you might start hanging out with a nose candy blower, nose blower. Someone who rides the white pony? Oh my God. You're going to have so many horse riders. Is he a Deftones fan? It's going to be an equestrian one-armed insanity Bandit? insanity oh my god oh my and then you meet someone who's chasing the purple dragon Ex exactly riding a horse i don't know any other drug terms <laughs> puff, puff the magic dragon i don't know what's tripping going on balls <laughs> i don't i have no idea what we're even talking about anymore <laughs> I feel like you've done. I've done drugs at this point. At this point, am I high right now? Yeah, I think yeah, I've I, got a contact. Yeah, off of your, off your my words. Off of your words. Oh, got that verbal, that verbal buzz. Ooh, Joe's passing out that verbal high audio dope. Ooh, 
That's what they call. Listen, listen to this one on repeat, <laughs> y'all. Mm. This is what they call it. Audi uh, audio. No, 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 no. I, I, I mean, <laughs> you're, you're actually not wrong because, like, I don't think that marijuana itself is a gateway drug. But like you said, yeah. you're gonna meet a drug dealer, and he's gonna mm -hmm. be like, "Oh, you need some coke." And you're like, I don't do coke. And he's like, if you ever do, let me know. Yeah. Or and you're going to end up meeting that one girl. No, I... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Nothing. Go ahead. Okay. So, and then, or, no. or like, you're like, oh, like, marijuana potheads, reefer domes. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they want to hang out with other pot smokers. Yeah. And then, then you meet a guy. He's like, he's like, oh, you want to hit my reefer, my marijuana cigarettes? And you're like, I sure, friend. And then he's like, you ever, you ever uh, done cocaine? And you're like, no, sir. I'm not into gateway drugs. I just like marijuana. And he's like, mm -hmm. just give it a shot. Next thing you know, <laughs> Next thing you know. black tar so, heroin. Tell him the whole story. In your veins. It's a little, it's a little, um, a little skewed. I, I think. I think Take a little... sip of beer. Next yeah. thing you know, you're guzzling moonshine. And that, that, that escalated quickly. But I was going to bring up the fact that I think that alcohol is a gateway drug. Oh, I think it's more of a gateway drug because you tend, <clears throat> you tend to make worse decisions when you're drunk than if you're smoking weed. Yes, both are impairing to your decision making, though. Right. Right, so, right, right. I mean, I kind of feel like they. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, spit, I'm gonna say it, Jones. Nicotine's a gateway drug. Said it. Kinda. Said yeah. it. No one has ever been like I've. I was so high that I went home and had unprotected sex with a, with a woman or man. But <laughs> but people have been like I've been so drunk I woke up next to someone. That's so true. <laughs> no one's been like I smoked so much weed. <laughs> And woke up with someone else and be like, "How did that happen?" That's so right, man. <laughs> but you smoke so much weed, you woke up. Yeah, that's happened. Yeah, <laughs> I got so high that <laughs> that's I, happened. <laughs> Time traveled. You're like, you're like, oh, it's morning. <laughs> Basically, that's hilarious, man. That's so true. Yeah, yeah. yeah all yeah. weed's ever done, anybody's made them fat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Car accidents aren't really, well, you know. You I mean, I'm sure people have been high and wrecked their car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, compared to how many people are drunk and drunk wrecked their driving, car. yeah. Mm. It's insane. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and both sure. should, both should not, yeah, so I don't know, man. I, I think that when it comes to gateway drugs, I feel like, you know, whatever your drug of choice is, is going to lead you to some other things as you get a, acquainted with the drug. You get that, uh tolerance you know but people but people tend to say i think i think the way that we thought of it is more accurate um is like it's because of who you meet and how you're around yeah. like the, the whole the whole stigma the, the meta that i like to say is oh you get tired of smoking weed you want a different high you know, you like and i don't that, think yeah. that is necessarily because you're always i know people who have smoked weed every day for years and they never were like you know what i want to do today crack that's that's not yeah. really. Com I'm so tired of this weed. After three years, I'm gonna just smoke crack instead. Yeah, and that, I mean, and this was back in the day before you know the studies were there. So I, I feel like you know people made that statement thinking, you know, like they they see kids who start smoking weed at an early age, and they're like, oh, hot. Now take. they're adults and they're addicted to other drugs. But yeah, hot take. They said that all of this came out and in, in, in like banning weed and all that was done by the tobacco and alcohol industry because it was oh, cut, yeah, it was yeah. cutting into their profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, they were like, "Oh no, cut you out!" So we're gonna make it illegal. Yada yada. You know, which I could see. Yeah, absolutely. And now, and now, do you see what they're doing with cigarettes? Which is absolutely crazy. They're just really they're coming. The hammer's coming down on Philip Morris. So they're actually uh, they're banning menthol cigarettes currently for good yeah oh because they're too enticing like candy they are they are um so i mean i can speak to the fact jones i mean you were thinking it i could i could see it in your eye you had that little eye glimmer it's, <laughs> don't I swear you dare ever talk about my eye glimmer <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, don't you goddamn ever talk about my eye glimmer you had a little shimmer in your eye when you heard a black man say that they were <laughs> banning menthol cigarettes <laughs> I saw it, dude. Your <laughs> lip quivered a little bit. You bit it. I was all like, I feel bad. You were like, nah, you wanted to say it. You wanted to say, oh, shit. What are you going to do, Dynamite? I know you wanted to say <laughs> oh, something oh, like shit. that. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 uh, I have uh, to say is that, yes, 
African Americans in this country, uh, fuck that. Black Americans in this country do tend to smoke disproportionately more menthol cigarettes than uh, than other races in this country. Yeah. So I I don't look I at it as a bad a lot thing. I white folks to smoke cigarettes though when I like back in the day. Yeah. Like. Yeah, but you know it's kind of synonymous. It is. Oh yeah, the yeah. whole the whole like Newport joke. Yeah, like, there's, yeah. there's there's and they're always stuff. like Newports are the most expensive because black people like them the most, and you're like. Maybe. Oh god dang Newport suck man Oh my god you know what I ain't gonna cap here I smoked for a little while I don't now I haven't for a long time Yeah Newports were the worst They I'm were like, bad <laughs> They were awful they, were real bad. they tasted like just like I don't even know Like styrofoam or some shit Yeah they were bad Oh my god Either way, yeah I don't know I think it's a good thing that they're banning menthol cigarettes it, Yeah they need to get out of vape though Huh. Yeah, the jewels are gonna be around, man. What, what it's are you so gonna do? funny that like they're all like, "Yeah, we'll get rid of cigarettes, but we'll still." They're literally replacing them with something else. Yeah, and I bet man. you, if you look, guess what companies own a lot of those companies? Oh yeah, it's yeah, probably yeah. Philip Morris and all those other companies. I mean, look, man, you told us that it was cool to sell cigarettes in this country, and then we, you know, we signed the NDA, and then you're like, all of a sudden, you are like, no, we can't do that they're anymore. Like, no, no, they're not smoking the tar no more. They just have like. Vaporized gel going into your lungs yeah. constantly instead. <laughs> Vaporized gel. I mean, that's essentially what it is. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, look, it's not safe to put anything in your body. That's you should the not other. be putting anything but air in your lungs. Exactly. Period. So, Whether you do yeah. weed vapes, marijuana, tobacco, tobacco vapes, yeah. nicotine vapes, you just do nicotine list vape because you think it's fun to blow clouds, any of that. Oh. Vape, vape lung is a real thing. Have you? Okay, so look, have you? Is it a real thing? Uh, oh I yeah, think yeah, I think it is. All right, have you seen like the the, the the products where they just have like flavored air? Have you ever seen those? Uh, I have not. Apparently, there's like a, a product out there. I want to get, but it's called Fume, and they like I've seen it on a couple podcasts. And they like just it's like flavored it looks like a air. cigarette. Yeah, so oh, it gives you this like tactile feeling. Well, that, I saw those came out for people who like wanted to quit smoking, but mm -hmm. so you could like still hit what is basically a cigarette, but it's like it's like a it's just like a vape pen. Yeah, and the little tip glows red on the end. Yeah, but it has, it's just like flavored airs, I guess. It's like non-alcoholic beer. Yeah, and I need like the blow off. I I need to alter. Yeah, what what are people who are trying to quit coke do? They sniff flour. <laughs> They just out here snorting flour. Let's do lines. Let's do lines of flour, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, lines of uh, crystallized caffeine. That would be cool. Yeah, I don't know. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. If you're taking a break from alcohol, and you're still like, so like, say say you you drink a lot, right? And you're I like, don't. you know, I should probably cut back on alcohol. Okay, consider it done. And, but you're still going out and drinking non-alcoholic beers. Yeah. Does that mean you have a problem? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless you're doing. What if you're not okay. like you stop drinking, but you're just drinking non-alcoholic beers? If you if you're drinking non-alcoholic beer, like you're out with the guys and like everybody's got a drink in their hand, and you just want to fit in so people don't try to pressure you, then that's one thing. It lies in your intention, I guess. Is it just because you, like you need to have like a cigarette smoker just needs to have something between their middle finger and their index finger? Like, is that is it that? I, then I think it's kind of a problem. Yeah, I don't know. But if you're doing it just so people don't give you shit, then that's cool. You know, yeah. especially if you don't tell anybody that yeah. you're drinking alcohol. Well, people beer are going to see it says whatever zero on it. They're very obvious. But, but you could also get a diet coke it. with a lime in it. And it looks like you're drinking a yeah, rum and coke. You know what I mean? Too. Ain't no one going to get some cranberry juice on ice. You're drinking a cran vodka. Bro, I don't understand why anybody would drink non-alcoholic beer. This shit sucks, man. I've never had one and don't want to. Because, like, I don't. Yeah. Like, it's just empty calories at that point. Yeah, And it yeah. doesn't taste. I don't drink beer for the taste. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Although, jellyfish tastes pretty good. Not yeah, yeah. Voodoo Rangers. Mm. Yeah, yeah. A good a good Voodoo Ranger sounds nice, actually. Mm. Yeah, interesting. Might do that after this recording. So, anyways, uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to, to like and subscribe. Oh, my go God. He's taking her, Jonas. The Reefer's got him. <laughs> go, go to thecrazytown.com. The Reefer. I'm sorry. For Jonas. <laughs> TNT. Uh, we have 